Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Well, I worked myself into a corner, literally. I want to move that rack into the corner and make it a shallower rack so that I can have this rack move that direction. That means I have to unload this rack, which has a lot of stuff on it. A lot of stuff on it. So I ha I'm going to have to move certain items and I want to unload the first rack. Just that one right there. Get the stuff off of that rack, then unload that rack, put up the two shallow uprights, and then put the uh, rack in that place over there in the corner, and then move, move this stuff from this rack to the shallow rack, and see if I can't get things kind of moving forward. Now some of it's going to end up over here piled up in piles. Nothing I can do about that. I'll set up uh, some of the benches and the, the uh, workmates so that I can have things piled on them. I'll set up the sawhorses with some boards on top so that I can use them. I also have to take off the 2x6s and 2x4s that I have up on the top shelf there and get those out of the way. But they need to come down because that is the framework for the lean-to shed. The idea was, okay, I'm going to have to put up five cross or five uprights, just like there are in this building. Five on this side, five on that side, and I will put up uh, cross ties on them, and then put sheet metal across those. Now, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be something that will happen overnight, but it will happen. So, goal at this point is to try and get this rack emptied and that corner cleaned out so that I can get the, the work started. Before I can do that, i got to develop a place to put it all right here. So this stuff's got to go over that way. I've been moving stuff off of this floor as much as I could, thinking I was going to put it on that rack and have it out of the way and be done with it. But, you know... Things change, plans change, and I, I came up with a better way of making things work for me. So, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Might as well get started. Better and gain some space on this just by having things piled in a better manner. That will make it so that I can do the job easier. Some of the stuff, like this roll of cardboard, should just go away. I was thinking I was going to use that to start fires in the winter, and I'm thinking, you know, that's kind of a waste of effort. I can start fires without having to store large bundles of cardboard inside of the building. It's just not, not worth the trouble.
Looks like pipe clamps are gonna work out pretty well as a hanging spot there on the purlet. Tucking things in, filling cubby holes. I have lots of sockets. Why do I have so many sockets? Well, because I found them and I said, oh, these are useful. Someone might have a need for them. So I kept them. And there's another whole wall rack of them in the garage. I also purchased new ones this time, and money allowed, so that I would have a quarter inch dive, 10 piece color coded deep wall socket set. Uh, this is from uh, Harbor Freight, and this gives me the opportunity to use these with the impact driver or standard drivers or anything else to uh, assemble and disassemble some of the projects. 
Do I need them every minute? Nope. But when you do need one, there is no substitute. Kind of like buying a set of extensions. Uh, these are actually adapters. Quarter to three eighths, three eighths to quarter, three eighths to half, half inch to three eighths, half inch to three quarter, three quarter to one, and one to three quarter. Well, the one to three quarter was missing on the package, and that made uh, the price dropped down to $9.98 on the, uh, I forget what they call it, on the, the deal table. Since I don't have a one inch drive socket or wrench of any kind, uh, this means that I can use my three quarter inch drive socket set, which sits here in a heavy blue box. I can use that to drive a one inch socket if I happen to get one. Yep, I don't use them all the time. Matter of fact, I haven't used any of these yet. But if I need them, I got them. thing is. It's a ring compressor for assembling engines. This one will go down to a small lawnmower engine or up to a car engine. First time I used it was a tractor engine. And it just happened to be something I found at a garage sale and said I might need that. Little knowing that uh, I was going to have a Farmall B with a seized piston that I had to take out and then reassemble. So this came in real handy. Now in the garage, when I had the workshop as planned, a part of the garage where I kept the car and the truck, that worked out well. Because if I needed a tool, it was probably going to be something out there, a large tool. I wasn't going to be doing any large repairs in the basement. Anything I couldn't get down the stairway, wasn't going to get done.
a tough bite, Ma, but I think I won. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or the legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.